Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is Tuesday. I'm currently waiting for my dental appointment outside and I have 10 minutes so I thought I'd give you an update on how I'm feeling and what's new. So as you guys know, I'm TTCing for baby number six. It's been a bit of a rocky, bumpy road so far. So we have been trying since September. However, we did fall pregnant in December, which I was over the moon about. Sadly lost the baby at around six and a half, seven weeks, which was terrible and all upset. And back to the drawing board end of February. So as you also know, I'm slightly, um, favoring gender swaying pink again so we were doing that with the new moon the chinese gender calendar the little bits of um like himalayan salt lamps rose quartz under my pillow lavender burning we were on the calcium magnesium diet and we were doing all things like that as well as the shettles method so update now is I've just had my AF cycle three, so we were not very successful, even though we used digital ovulation sticks and we thought we gave it a good shot with our baby dancing on day eight, day 11, day 13, day 15, when I had my static smiley. But since talking to you guys, getting lots of comments and feedback, which I thank you so much for from the bottom of my heart, I think I should have really done the baby dance a little bit longer um, and maybe, I should have done day 15 when it was static, but I should have probably done 16 and 17 because as we know, when that static face is there, the LH surge is detected, but you've got anything from 12 hours to 48 hours before that egg is there ready to fertilize so i think that it just detected my lh surge it was peak ovulation and like you guys know i had an opk strip positive for another 24 hours on top of that so i think my day was probably 16 and maybe the sperm didn't survive the long long journey um perhaps my environment wasn't 100 percent tip top perhaps the sperm wasn't you know as resilient as i'd hoped i don't know there's lots of if buts and maybes but anyhow us doing the deed on the day of the static smiley face wasn't enough so we know everything else is in place because obviously I've fallen pregnant uh, and I've had previous pregnancies and babies so everything seems to be there it's just getting that blooming time and we know we've got such a short time of doing it because although you have a fertile window of five days um, on ovulation kits and these sticks predict your foremost fertile days which is amazing we know that the egg only lasts 12 to 24 hours so actually conception you literally get a really tiny small frame of time and it is the jackpot if you get get the egg fertilized so yeah we are still keeping everything in place aaron and i are taking our prenatal vitamins we've now got a good month in us now uh because of not falling pregnant so i suppose in hindsight that's quite good uh eating healthy aaron's tried to cut down on sugary snacks um i've kept up my calcium magnesium diet but i'm not being too frugal because i do want to be healthy and i did take quite a weight dip october november time when i had all that sickness and diarrhea i don't want to go through that again because i did dip quite low on my weight and i don't think that's sustainable for for myself um i am just right on my weight i'm sort of spot on where i should be even though I feel I've put on six to eight pound, it probably is my ideal weight. And a year ago, I had a full on health check. I had my uh, cholesterol done, my everything, my bloods, absolutely everything. It was about actually about 10 months ago. So I know I'm in tip top condition. And also I know some of you have said, what about the menopause? Well, my grandparent and my mum, both menopaused at 53. I don't have any symptoms of that. I've got to be honest. The reason my periods were a little bit spitty spotty um was because i was coming off breastfeeding and as you guys know some of you can get periods through breastfeeding i didn't i literally full-on breastfed absolutely on demand for nine months absolutely 100 percent like every two hours and then um when she got to about nine ten months it was more like three times a day and i have never ever had periods until i sort of curb it to a one to two day feed and my periods only came back probably i think they came back around august time 
so I will go back on my videos I can't actually I haven't got a diary here or anything at the moment but I have a feeling it was around that time so I only really had two clear periods before we started TTCing I sort of had my periods back in August time yeah I'm pretty sure it was it was definitely um, she was quite old she was back 16 17 months old before I got my periods back but I will go back on that so if you are feeding on demand and you are not getting your periods chances are you won't get pregnant either and that hormone that produces with um, breastfeeding is quite high in you and I feel that was why I didn't conceive September when we tried and November as you know we missed October because I was really going for the gender full-on and it was boy on the gender calendar so that's where we are at the moment it's boy on the gender calendar but I'm sort of counteracting that um, I'm just doing the moon there's nothing I can do about the boy gender calendar and there's nothing um, I can do about the moon but the moon at the moment's coming up for a new moon so that's quite good because that's good for a girl um, I'm doing the position of the shettles and the no big O but I'm definitely not doing um, waiting for ovulation because normally with the shettles you stop when you've got that flashing smiley face that's when you do all your baby dancing and then stop when you get the static that's what you'd be doing if you were strictly doing gender sway for a girl because shettles recommends two to three days before ovulation you stop so that's what you'd do if time's on your side you don't really care if it happens this month or not but I want it to happen desperately now so yeah we're definitely not doing the ovulation side of things we're just doing the diet and all the other things um, I'm on day five today of my cycle well actually it's day six but because I started quite late I started at 6 p.m. my period I'm sort of thinking it is day six of my cycle because I came on Thursday and today's Tuesday however because I came on like a light bleed at six o'clock and it was full on fledged at 10 I'm thinking it could quite be day five of my cycle but let's just for argument say say it's day six so today I'm very light I've just um, put on a panty liner and it's I'm haven't changed it yet from getting out the shower so I'm quite light now so I think today will be my last day of my period maybe a bit of spitty spotty tomorrow so I am gonna be on it ladies and guys who are watching I'm gonna get on it and so is Aaron on Friday which gives me great hope so I know baby dancing doesn't count on those early days I'm fully aware of that I know that the day seven day eight all of that doesn't matter but I just want to have intimate time with Aaron as well I don't want it to be just TTCing and baby making we just want to be close so I am gonna sort of get in the swing of things like I normally do and start building up the seed if I can we're not going to use pre seed or anything like that like I say menopause and that doesn't concern me at the moment pre seed may use next time if it doesn't work out but at the moment not too worried about that and like I say everything's in place now for us just to drink lots of fluid to keep our cervical fluid in the sperm and um, you know all of that up to scratch because obviously you want the semen to be there to have the sperm in and you need lots of fluid so I've been saying to Aaron please 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 drink lots of water in the day same goes for me yeah so we're just gonna try and enjoy baby dancing and my digital ovulation pack I've bought another pack of those flipping expensive but really excited about using those I'm gonna start tracking on day eight stroke day nine so probably day eight they recommend for a 28 day cycle so I definitely want to crack open the pack yeah day after tomorrow so today's Tuesday so I'll probably start doing the ovulation tests on Thursday and I'll do a video on that so that we can like have a progress report and things so all's good for TTCing. I'm feeling a lot better than I did. Thank you so much for your lovely kind comments. I did feel really down and upset for the first couple of days, which is natural, I know that. It feels like you're grieving a loss, which I know some people don't get if you've not had a baby or you've not TTC'd before. You might think, God, what's the you know what's the harm you've tried it hasn't happened it just is horrible I think if you're trying for more than a couple of months everyone feels like this you just expect it to be da -dum, there and when you prevent pregnancy for so long you don't want to get pregnant soon after having a baby and you don't want to get pregnant in your teens you know because you're doing all your fun things and then you definitely want a baby you so try so hard to stop pregnancy and then you try so damn hard to get pregnant it's a vicious circle but anyhow I'm fine thank you for your comments please subscribe and like this video it really helps me ping on notifications and then you'll know when I'm doing my OPKs hi to everyone TTC in and on their cycles as well so this is going to be cycle four after the miscarriage and I've just got everything positive and 
kept cross for this. I better go now because it's my dreaded dental appointment. I might tag on something in a minute to make it an extra long video though. So I might speak to you soon. Bye.